afternoon, everyone. We'd like to take a moment and acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is unceded Mi'kmaq territory, and we pay our respects to the indigenous Mi'kmaq people of this territory, past, present, and future. Distinguished guests, if you're able to, please rise for the graduates.
This year, the rural has a grad class of 373 students, with approximately 358 participating in ceremonies today and tomorrow. Today, we are celebrating their hard work and wish them well as they move towards the next chapter in their lives. Allow me to be the first to say to you, the grads of 2022, congratulations. Graduates, guests, staff, administrators. There are three reasons why Charlottetown Rural High School continues to be one of the top schools in the country. Our supportive school community, our tremendous staff, and our terrific students. The school community members have shown us many times this year how supportive they are for the school, how important what goes on here is to them, and how appreciative they are of all the opportunities provided to the students. This support was demonstrated by over $2,000 donated in two days to our Staff Appreciation Week. We felt this support from many volunteer coaches and community members who gave their time to support athletics and other activities here at the school. We received hundreds of emails to thank teachers for their extra effort during our online learning, for accommodating students who were struggling with school, mostly as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. We received thank yous for all the extra help, the extra time, and the extra attention the staff provided to allow the students to be as successful as possible. I want to say a special thank you to Patricia Callahan, our home and school chairperson. She has been involved in home and school since her children entered the school system. And now that our youngest is graduating, it seems fitting that we acknowledge all the support she has been to the schools in our family. Thank you to Patricia and the entire school community for your support. The staff here at the Rural are top notch. The 100 people who come to work here every day do a tremendous job caring for the students, the public, and the building. Beyond the excellent teaching that goes on every day, there are so many opportunities for students to connect to their school and experience a well-rounded education. The staff provide close to 50,000 hours of volunteer time each year because they care about the quality of your children's education. You can be confident that this staff is one of the best in the country. The support staff and custodial team work equally as hard to ensure that the public feel welcome, the lines of communication are kept open, and to ensure the building is well maintained. All the employees at the Rural understand their role in providing a quality educational experience to everyone connected. There are a few from this group who are retiring at the end of the school year, and we want to thank them for their many years at the Rural. Mr. Philip Pirlo joined the Charlottetown Rural staff in September 1995. He's taught many social studies courses, photography, theater arts, and others, before he transitioned to become the diploma coordinator for our IB program. Mr. Pirlo has guided our IB program through two program reviews, both with very positive reports. Philip contributed many hours to extracurricular activities throughout the school, 
from theater productions and agricultural awareness to canoe trips and other community service, Mr. Pirlo was always available to assist students who were keen on maximizing their high school experience. Mr. Mo Myhan has been our welding and automotive teacher since 1994. I said 84 the last time. 94. <laughs> he has nurtured an interest in these trades for many young people. He's always been skilled at offering advice, not opinions, for making suggestions, not commands, and for providing options, not ultimatums. He ran a tight ship, and all his students respected the professionalism that he modeled for them. And those students who chose to be were, were well prepared for the next level. Mo contributed many hours of volunteer time to school activities. His talents were often on display, and he thoroughly enjoyed these opportunities to be involved. Mrs. Kim McBurney began teaching at the Rural in 1999. Mrs. McBurney was a leader in the integration of technology into our province's education curriculum, and she modeled best practices in this area for many island teachers. Her time at CRHS was interrupted on occasion to develop science curriculum for the Department of Education and our system. And while she was here, she contributed to the IB program as a chemistry instructor and taught many different science courses for us. Mrs. McBurney knew her stuff. This past year, she's been dealing with some health issues, so is not able to be with us today. Ms. Ruth McDonald has been a cleaner here at the school for the past 10 years and she too has had significant health issues the past few years and with her doctor's advice has decided to retire. We will miss the experience and the commitment of these staff members who have invested a lot in our school and we wish them the best in their retirement. They're a very, very talented group. We started at Charlton World together three years ago, and it's been my pleasure to watch them learn, mature, and succeed. They have excelled in the classroom, in many sporting venues, at provincial and national skills and debate competitions, and in many, many other activities in our community. Their accomplishments are impressive indeed. But probably the most impressive attribute of this group has been their positive response to all the rules and regulations they faced as a result of the pandemic. They have done everything that we've asked of them. They understood how important it was to be together and in school. And they responded by doing more than their part. They sanitized their hands multiple times a day. They cleaned desks. Chromebooks before and after using them. They wore masks all the time. Well, there were a few who regularly showed off their noses. <laughs> but for the vast majority, they followed all the rules so they could be all together. We are very proud of them and will remember them as a very cooperative and caring group. So now, graduates, as you finish up your time as a Raider, Please know that you are as prepared as possible to take that next step. Some of you will begin your journey with small steps, and some have plans to take on huge challenges. Our school community and the Charlottetown Rural staff have great faith in you and wish you all the best. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Mr. McIsaac. So, everybody gathered here today, here's some information to bear in mind. The graduates will be queued by each row to rise and form a line on my immediate left. 
When their name is read, they will approach the stage and receive the diploma, exiting on my right. Pictures. Those of you along that wall, you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> Pictures. You'll have plenty of time to come forward to our designated area on my right for pictures next to the Rural Writer banner on the far wall. We kindly ask that you respect the boundary that is there. And please note, you are more than welcome to come back in after the ceremony and take additional photos. Graduates, after you've had your picture taken, we simply ask you to return to your seat here, please. The graduation is also being videotaped and a link to the ceremonies will be shared through the Google Classroom as well as by parent email. This entire event officially ends after the playing of God Save the Queen. And please note, if you have a program in front of you that isn't acting as a fan at the moment, <laughs> students with a diamond next to their name are graduates from the International Baccalaureate Program and grads with an asterisk next to their name have been designated as having attained honors. I would like you to also note that in some cases, the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship has been based on conditional offers. The value of the scholarship may change depending on the student's final transcript. Will the first row of graduates please rise? I'll ask Ms. Bryan to come forward to the podium.
Katie Balderson. Katie is awarded a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Kennedy Beals. Kennedy is awarded the Samuel Holland $3,000 Entrance Scholarship for Holland College. Isabel Beardsley. Isabel is awarded the CRHS Perseverance Award, the Ocean Capital Company's $1,000 Renewable Scholarship, and a UPEI Celebrated Student Achievement Scholarship. Anna Blanchard. Anna is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Lucas Brasky. <laughs> Lucas is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Campbell Brown. <laughs> Campbell is receiving a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Lindsay Burke. <laughs> Lindsay is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Maggie Callahan. <laughs> Maggie is presented the Stratford Maine Flower Seniors Line. Club Bursary and a UPEI Celebrated Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Keegan Callahan. <laughs> Keegan is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Nicholas Carlees. Nicholas is presented a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Madison Casper. <laughs> Madison is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Brianna Shege. presented the prize for achievement in Canadian History 621 and a Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Science University Awards valued at $48,600. Jesse Chen. Jesse is awarded prizes for achievement in Art 61 and Psychology 61. Pete Christie. Pete is presented with the Eugene Wynn Memorial Award and prizes for achievement in Biology 61, Chemistry 61, Mathematics 61B, Physics 61. Pete is awarded the Father Charles McDonald Engineering $1,500 Scholarship and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Please stand, if you are able, and recognize Pete as he also receives the prize for the graduate with the third highest aggregate. Felicia is 
presented with the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Hope Oregon. Hope is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Ella Crosby. Ella is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Jordan Cummings. Jordan is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Kennedy Curley. <laughs> Kennedy is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Emma Curran. CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Kelly Daly. <laughs> Kelly is presented with the Alexander Bradshaw Campbell University of Prince Edward Island $2,000 Entrance Scholarship and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Julia Davidson. <laughs> Julia is awarded a Mount Allison $3,000 Renewable Scholarship. CRHS Student Recognition Award. Dan Doan. Dan is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Skyan Doucette. Diane is presented with a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Lindsay Drover. <laughs> Lindsay is presented with the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Delaney Dunn. Charlottetown Wiseman's Club Bursary, the Alexander Bradshaw Campbell University of Prince Edward Island $2,000 Award, and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Trissa Ford. <laughs> Trissa is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Ellen Frazier. <laughs> Ellen is awarded a Provincial Credit Union $2,000 scholarship 
the Royal Canadian Legion Educational Bursary Charlottetown Branch and a prize for achievement in French Immersion 621. Ellen is also presented with the Alexander Bradshaw Campbell University of Prince Edward Island $2,000 Entrance Award, the Glenda McKinnon Peters Engineering $1,500 Scholarship, and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Please stand if you are able and recognize Ellen as she receives a prize for the graduate with the fourth highest annual. Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Cole Goody. Cole is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Grace Goche. Grace is presented with the Town of Stratford Sustainability Bursary, the Chris LeClaire Memorial Bursary, Marsha Arsenal Award, and Prizes for Achievement in Biology 621, French Immersion Sociology 621, Mathematics 621B, and Psychology 621. Grace is also awarded the Dr. Leo and Rhea, Rita Cody McIsaac Memorial $3,000 Renewable Scholarship in Nursing, the Al and Valerie Al and Aziz $715 Entrance Scholarship, and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Please stand, if you are able, and recognize Grace as she receives the prize for the highest exit. Recognition Award. Zachary Harrison. Zachary is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Harmony Katie. Harmony is awarded a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Holly Hughes. Holly is presented with a prize for achievement in Cooperative Education 602 and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. Nolan Hughes. Nolan is receiving a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Cassidy Hurley. Cassidy is awarded a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Award. Darian Jamison. Darian is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Sophia Jeffrey. 
Sophia is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Jalen Jenkins. Jalen is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Declan Johnson. Declan is receiving a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Brett Josie. Brett is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Kristen Kelly. Kristen is presented with a Helen Heron Scholarship, the Roger Bird Memorial Award, and a prize for achievement in Leadership 621. Kristen is also awarded a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Aaliyah Kirkham. Aaliyah is awarded the Alexander Bradshaw Campbell University of Prince Edward Island $2,000 Entrance Scholarship and the UPEI Celebrated Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Sky Kirkpatrick. <laughs> Sky is awarded a UPEI Celebrated Student Achievement Scholarship. Claire Knight. Claire is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Sydney Laycock. Sydney is presented with the Stone Park Duke of Edinburgh Award and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Jensen Levi. Sorry, Jensen Levy. Uh, Jensen is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Raymond <laughs> Lee. Raymond is presented with the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Regan McCauley. Regan is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Scholarship. Andrew McIntyre. Andrew is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Josh McKinnon. Josh is awarded the UPI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. 
Josh McLeod. Josh is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Carter McNeil. Carter is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Max McNeil. Max is presented the UPI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. Krista McNeil. Krista is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Keegan McPhail Campbell. Keegan is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Corey Martin. Corey is awarded the CRHS Holman School Prize. Haley McCarran. Haley is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Trent McClure. Trent is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Travis McGurk Ryan. Travis is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Jamie Lynn McIsaac. Jamie Lynn is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Cadence Mosier. Cadence is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Sophie Nelson. <laughs> Sophie is presented with the Rebecca Dixon Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Teresa Noel. <laughs> Teresa is awarded the CRHS Recognition Award. Tracy Wynn. Tracy is presented with the McMaster $3,000 Award of Excellence. And please stand if you are able to, to recognize Tracy as she receives a prize for the highest aggregate in the IB program.
Hancock for taking the McKenna Memorial Award, the PEISAA Academic Achievement Award, a prize for achievement in French Immersion 621, and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Zoe Stewart. Recognition Award. <laughs> Hannah Thompson. <laughs> Hannah is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Lucas Thompson. Lucas is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. James Thompson. James is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Ada Topra. Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Hannah Tran. <laughs> Hannah is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Damien Trousdale. $1,250 renewable scholarship. <laughs> Isaac Poss. <laughs> Isaac is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Tracy Potour. <laughs> Tracy is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Alexis Walker. Alexis is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Beth Walsh. Beth is awarded the Alexander Bradshaw Campbell University of of Prince Edward Island $2,000 entrance scholarship and EPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Benjamin Watson. <laughs> Benjamin is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Brady Watson. is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Sophie Wheeler. <laughs> Sophie is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Cameron Whitlock. is celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Nicholas Whitlock. <laughs> Nicholas is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Kaisley Wilson. the CRHS Student Recognition Award.
Jonah Woods. Jonah is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Susanna Zhu. Susanna is presented the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Brian Yu. Brian is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. At this time, I'd like to welcome our 2022 valedictorian, Pete Christie, to the podium. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, before I begin, I would like to welcome everyone here today parents, grandparents, family members, guardians, staff, and most importantly, our 2022 Charlottetown Rural graduates. Just under a month ago, I was named the 2022 valedictorian for this very school. It started with a simple application, detailing what I must do to apply, and questions such as, tell us why you deserve this title. So simple, yet it has blossomed into something so incredible. Who would have thought that a piece of paper would allow me, Pete Christie, to stand at the threshold of your futures and cut the finish line ribbon with scissors of resonation, motivation, and congratulations. Although for some, I am not cutting a finish line ribbon at all. For some, I am speaking you toward the floodgates of the real world. Indeed intimidating, but full of opportunity. June the 3rd of this year was a day of epiphany for me. It started out as a typical school day, until the afternoon. At approximately half past two, I presented my sample speech in front of my peers, similar to what I'm doing now, just a lot less people. For about five minutes, I stood at the same podium, showing my fellow students what I would be like as a catalyst to a new world and a representative of our accomplishment. When the clock struck 2.35 p.m., I concluded, followed by a round of applause and a heart ready to burst out of my chest. However, it was not within any of the moments preceding 2.35 p.m. on June 3rd that I had had a realization of this magnitude. It was the very moment after, 2.35 p.m. again, the moment I sat back down that I was struck with that epiphany I mentioned earlier. For any of you who are familiar with the term valedictorian, you may know it is simply an anglicized derivation of the term to say goodbye in Latin. I find that funny and very underselling of this position which I am so honored to have received. Valedictorians from any year to any school usually abide by that definition of the name. But I'd like to take a different approach because no one wants a cliche and immemorable conclusion to such an important day. On June the 3rd, at 2.35 p.m., I sat down for my sample speech, cracked a smile sitting in my chair in front of the crowd. I realized I am doing so much more than saying farewell to our lives for the last 18 years. More than saying farewell to the same era we learned to tie our shoes with bunny ears in the era our guardians gave us that first boost with their training wheels on our bike. The same era we'd sit at the table with our guardians with a dampened piece of paper with problems like five plus five dampened from our tears. To the same era of slamming a door with a string tied to your wiggling tooth, of scurrying to switch tabs from cool math games to a blank Google Doc as your teacher passed by, of sitting at the cafeteria table surrounded by your friends, I am most ne definitely not simply saying farewell to. Instead, at 2.35 p.m. on June 3rd of 2022, 
I realize I am saying hello to something so much bigger. Hello to a new era of getting acceptance letters to colleges and universities where we can pursue what we love most. Hello to an era of discovering passion. An era in which we will grow exponentially and independently, as if we've outgrown the stakes a tree uses to get through the times it is not strong enough to stand up on its own. Hello to soon having to pay our own bills, sadly. And hello to an era of freedom to choose for ourselves who we will share our lives with. Hello to the development of our true selves. I am saying hello for each and every of my peers to the rest of our lives. Throughout these times transitioning from childhood to adulthood, our parents and guardians have given their all to provide for us and made many sacrifices so we can celebrate this day. To every guardian, whether they were able to be in this crowd or not, that helped get us here today, we cannot thank you enough. And I cannot forget the importance of our teachers. They motivated us, encouraged us, and saw our unique potential. And were often the same ones who pretended not to see us playing cool math games at the back of the class. The great things we will do are rooted in the teachers who impacted us most. Thank you to every teacher who helped get us here today so we can all greet the life ahead of us. So graduates, let this ceremony be your version of my epiphany on June 3rd, 2022, at 2.35 p.m. My epiphany that we must greet the future with open arms and not dwell on the past. My epiphany that focusing on, focusing on and celebrating moving forward is so much more important than reminiscence. When you hit another one of these 2.35 p.m.s in your life, moving from one stage to the next, don't mourn the loss of familiar ways. Have no regrets and look forward to what the future will bring. I am not ending this with a goodbye, and I do not want tears. This is a greeting. Let this mark a hello to each and every one of your futures. Congratulations, class of 2022.